Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I thought it was time to give you sort of a mini update of my craft room. So before we go into the craft room, these are the two Kallax units from IKEA that house the 3D printers um, that keep printing trays. They're going to go on as soon as this video is done. Um, and our extra storage underneath for shop stock as well as, you know, extra bits, etc. But this is my craft room. Um, so this is in the corner of the conservatory. There's only one way in, but this is my little haven. Now you will have seen my craft room before. I have got a few different tours and there are only a few things that have changed since, you know, we've had the shop as well. So I thought I'd just give you sort of a quick rundown really. So as we go in, I've got my pegboard, which houses diamond painting pens. It's got AB diamonds. If you see me reaching for my sticker maker or my Goo Gone, that's where I'm reaching. Above it is Megan's Tinkerbell painting that she kitted up last year. So that's still ongoing. It's going to be a while before that one's de-kitted. On the top of the bookcases is just a, a file holding clear bags and envelopes for quick for packing shop orders. But then it's my diamond painting pens that I use during whipping chats. I've got a diamond painting that I need to label up and put away. That's what that one is. And then some diamond painting storage that kind of looks pretty. On the wall just inside, I do have a couple of cork boards with letters and things from people are up, pinned up on there. And tucked down the side of the bookcase, this is about as far back as I can get. So it is a small room. I do apologise if the camera angle is a bit funny. But um, that's just boxes for orders. And then most of the shelves, <coughs> excuse me, the Billy bookcase shelves are pretty much the same. So I have a small one and a longer one across the top or the top rows of both are my spare diamonds. So I have three boxes of normal spare diamonds. Then I've got the special diamonds tucked in. And on the top is tucked my planner, my 2022 planner, my copy, and my diamond painting logbook. And then we have my heaven and earth designs, which on top of that is just the sheets that I printed out to let you guys know which one I'm working on before I do a video. I then have a box full of off the canvas items. So these are the items that I've kept hold of. Quite often these are gifted away, gifted, but there's notebooks, bookmarks, all sorts of off the canvas items are stored in there. And then underneath was another box of the same but this is actually now the magazine files. It's got things like phone board in there, cardstock and paper, some cross stitch items, and then other stuff, random amounts, um, with my Elizabeth Ward storage on the bottom. The rest of the bookcase, I have these four, are my big heaven and earth design diamonds. So that's my current kitted up. My little one is in that little red case there. Then I have, um, so this one is kitted up for Megan, for Tinkerbell. This one is kitted up for Minions. So that tends to be where I put diamonds for kitted up paintings. Then I have a couple of empty cases ready for the next project. I have um, a battery light pad, which is sort of my spare wireless light pad my extra diamonds, and then there's even more storage across the bottom. So a few different storage cases, and in here, all sorts of storage cases. So these are all the smaller tight ones. They're all stacked in that box. So that is my bookcases. 
primarily diamond painting on this side of the room. I then have, if we, I'll stay on the floor, I then have my box diamond paintings. So we've got Mr. Quackers, this one's Minions, the ones behind are my Diamond Art Club, Dreamer Designs, and then we've got the Heaven and Earth Design canvases as well. And then this little box here just tends to hold unboxings that have come in. Um, they'll either go in there or paintings that need to I need to do something with. So there's one in there I need to send to my mum, for example. These cupboards um, have scrapbooking items in. So I'm just going to peek rather than pull everything out. But I've got scrapbooking paper and collections. And then, oh, if I can make sure my Heaven and Earth design doesn't fall over. That one has some cross-stitch threads and some photos, for example. I don't need to get in those as much, but I can just move those diamond paintings if I do. Then we have a few more scrapbooking items. So I've got a tub full of mixed media. I've got my punches. Then I've got adhesives, stamps, and then scrapbooking tools. Um, it's got trimmers. It's got my little camera, it's got my Dymo label maker, etc. And if you see, between my desktop and the Calax, I have a gap. That is where I store my display folders that I store my diamond paintings in. That's where I store my trimmer. And I've also got some 30 by 30 frames under there as well. Um, so I can grab them easy. The 30 by 30 frame is more just because it's a safe place to put them than I use them all the time. Then we go across on the Calax. I have diamond painting spares or diamonds spares. That tends to be those that don't have a DMC number. They go in there until I either match them up or I get rid, one or the other. Then I have special diamonds, so all my diamonds for any special diamond paintings I have are in there. I tend to keep those in the packets more than I put them in their own bag, just because they're only small. Then we have Diamonds Megan. So this is the diamonds for any painting that Megan owns. Any diamond painting Megan owns, her diamonds are in there. And then I have Diamonds in Square. So this houses all my diamonds for any of my square paintings. And then I have diamonds round, of which I have a few more. Plus there's a few big ones in there as well. But that is all the diamonds for my round ones. And they're all labelled up with the name of the painting, if it'll focus, the name of the painting, the size and where it was from. So when I pick a painting to do, I tend to pick the painting first and then I know whether I'm going to the round or the square bin. And from there, I then pull out the diamonds. Going below, I have one that has washi tape. It also has a few um, diamond painting trays from the shop that aren't quite good enough to sell, but may be gifted to friends and family. Then I have toolkits. So that's where I tend to throw any toolkits. And then I have diamond painting bits and bobs. This has all sorts in it. So this is where I grab the big tray from when I'm kitting up. It's where I grab my bag of three tens. It's got stickers. It's got a desktop cleaner. It's got loads of bottles in the back. Just a, a passport cover holder that I don't use. Um, it's got a sticky pad for holding your tray onto your diamond painting. Yeah, tips, you know, different straightener tips and stuff, all of those extra clips, all in there, in a jumble, but I know where they are. And then this last cube, so this top one holds diamond paintings that I've done or are in progress. So it's got all the custom ones, it's got the Fox, Willow Arts Fox painting at the moment. It's got my Heaven and Earth designs that's ongoing. And then down here are my large paintings that I've not yet done. So that's where I keep them rolled up.
Underneath is a mixture. I have a big trimmer, I have some more scrapbooking items, a long stapler, um, an embellishment holder, cross stitch um, that I'm currently in the middle of. There's even some more storage, <laughs> some more diamond painting storage tucked under there. If it'll fit, it goes under there. That's sort of my little hidey hole. So then if I can get myself to stand up, this is where I film. So when you catch me, or when you see me filming, this is where I film. My camera goes into the clamp up there. That's where the bin is. So you'll see me grabbing the bin um, when I'm in the middle of filming. That's where it's from. I've got my little coffee warmer and my little coffee mug under there. And we've got the cry cut to the side. And it's right near, of course, well, everything. In this craft room, everything is near everything. But um, it's right near to the stick maker and all that sort of stuff that I might need to grab. And then we've moved the diamond paintings to around the lights, sort of tucked in. So I have my special diamond paintings up at the back because I don't tend to do them as often. And then I have all my smaller round and square on the right so that I can grab them. If I let the app decide what painting I'm doing, for example, I can just grab the hanger while I'm still on camera. Whereas for the special diamond paintings, I need to go a climbing. I have a shelf behind there, has a few die cuts on for scrapbooking, my sealer, and of course my camera prop. And then the hangers to the left hold Megan's diamond paintings. So that's where her smaller diamond paintings are kept, is up there. Then we go around, I still have my pretty wall. If I can get the camera to show you where it says create and I've got three diamond paintings I've not yet taken over that space but give me time it probably will happen and then if I go back towards the door so these diamond paintings that are here are Megan's Diamond Art Club diamond paintings she doesn't need to access them as often or as easily as me so they are tucked in with our spent toner cartridges on the top and my little gift diamond painting sign. And then if I step out so that you can see it properly, the rest of this is shop. So these are all the stands or the paper stands that we got. I did actually create a second little shelf in some. So for example, this little tab shows that it's the round DMC in pink and they are above it. Then we have the plane and then I made a little shelf for the, or I made a shelf for the plane out of foam board so that the AB stickers could go underneath. So they're the Diamond Art Club AB. We have a row that holds um, stoppers, rings, trays, and then it holds all the round stickers, round small stickers. Then we have a column that's got planners, diamond painting logbooks, to-do lists, postage labels, and then all the square stickers. And then we have the packing type items, so tape, pen, scales, the labels that go on our boxes, followed by all the DMC stickers. Underneath that, I have turned the Billy bookcase on its side. So underneath all of that, we have a shelf for packing envelopes and stickers for printing. Then we have bags, more envelopes. We're pretty stocked up on envelopes at the moment. Um, and other things that are used. So some of them are misprinted stickers that are used in videos. And then we've got, you know, wallets and stuff that we use for creating the books. Then we have some cardstock boxed up. 
followed by some jiffy bags. Jiffy bags are a new recent addition for the for the smaller orders. So we currently have quite a few of those floating about everywhere. And then over there we have a bathroom caddy that holds the cover paper holders and the cover paper. And then we have lots of filament. So loads and loads of 3D filament ready for printing. So I hope you see the colour that you like there, though there are st some stashed in other places. But yeah, that is the craft room at the moment. This is the tidiest it's been in a few weeks. I've had quite a few unboxings that have needed doing, but it's quite contained at the moment. And then if I come back out, of course, we have the three printers and then we do have more stock here. So we have excess stock of the diamond painting books, the card stock, the stickers, um, the pouches are in here. And then we do have a couple of the drawers full of trays ready for next month's launch in the hope that we can meet demand. Um, oh, and I've added some tissue paper on the door. I just create, just added two sticky hooks, piece of string, so that I can grab tissue paper without a struggle. So yeah, that is my updated craft room tour. I hope it's been enjoyable. Sorry for the tight space. Um, I do recognise that it's it's a bit of a squeeze in there, but I think I've crammed in pretty much as much as I can into a small space and it can be as cluttered as it wants because I can always shut the door. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.